has a wonderful barn made of uh, cinder blocks and it has over 366 feet of frontage on Lucas and Hunt Road. Now if you look up this way you can see the house that's being used as a grooming office and a pet supply store right now. And then those are kennels right there. And then over that way is uh, a two-car garage detached. Walk the property a little bit here. Give you some idea. They're going to come cut the grass. Right now it's pretty tall. Good pasture though if you're a horse. This is uh, a little bit like heaven. Now there's two fields. They're separated by a fence. You can see the fence over that way. walk over there for a minute there's the kennels we got indoor and outdoor kennels the uh, just one of the two buildings um, had 21 inside and 26 outside kennels The building was 13 feet by 81 feet. There's two of them. And this property includes all the stuff inside of the fence there, and then the stuff over the fence in this direction, up to the tree line. To give you an idea of what the property is like. So it stops at that tree line. So back here you have your kennels. So you can get an idea here of the size of the kennels. I'll just go down and there's a friendly dog. Hi buddy! And a little tiny one. Now the dogs uh, are here for grooming and such. Side of the kennel. Here's the insides. electricity. They are cinder block walls. It has an air conditioning unit outside. So both of these kennels have the exterior and the interior kennels. set up about the same. I counted one side. This is the side I counted over here. Got a little drainage issue out here. And 
this one's just like the other one, so I'm not going to go through it. And again, the property goes to the tree line. Coming up on the side of the kennel, one big kennel here. Here's the back of the property. You can see the two car garage over there now. Show you the parking lot. Lots and lots of parking here. By my count, it looks like there's parking and it's asphalt for at least 16 cars. I think you could maybe do a little more, but 16 I think would fit quite, quite nicely. And they've got the entrances up there, and then there's grooming down here currently. Let's go up and take a look. Now I'll show you the front of the uh, two-car garage before I go in. There's the two-car detached garage over there. It has electricity as well. Here's the deck entrance. The front office retail section, rather. Front retail. Here's the back retail. Then we have a storage closet, another storage closet. Here's the bathroom. And this is the office area. It's actually a bedroom. It's got a closet. And uh, the front part I did count as a bedroom because it could be a bedroom because it has a closet and windows. The part here to the left is the kitchen area. Kennels in it now. This leads out to the deck. Or we just walked by this a little while ago. And the basement is here. It has a low threshold for your head, so you got a duck. do grooming down here now. So this is the dog grooming area. There's a little kennel place right here. Stations for the dog. Then out this way there's some more Kennel area, laundry, some baths for the dogs, wash them down. It does have a modern panel, it's a GE panel. So it is a modern panel. Back in this area, we've got gas. Let's see, is it gas or electric? There's several water heaters. Oh, I think he has one that's gas and one that's electric, as I remember. There's the gas one. And this is the electric one. A little bit of both. And here's the furnace which is gas. 
little storage area.